What's up everyone? Welcome back to Whiskey Air. We're on the road. I got the cameraman. He's back with me again. The goal today is to find him a bottle or two because my suitcase is already pretty full so I'm super limited on the things that I can travel with. However, we're now heading to Marcello's Wine Market here in Lafayette. And let me just say, I am super pumped. The store owner is coming out to meet us. It's gonna show us some of the things that they have on the shelf. I can't wait to showcase that. And listen, for those of you that are UFC fans, we got Dustin Poirier, baby, Lafayette, born and raised. He's also a co-owner of the store that recently purchased it, I think in February timeframe. So I'm super excited. We'll see you when we get to the store. All right, so we're at the very first spot now here, Marcello's Wine Market in Lafayette. Um, First, right when you walk in, you see, boom, Rare Stash Show. I'm not sure if many of you know, and I know it's only in a few states right now, but this is Dustin Poirier, the UFC fighter. He came out with his own bourbon. The cool thing about this is each mash bill is different, so you're not gonna have the same bottle every single time. This is batch three, batch two, and they're completely different, coming from different barrels, mash bills and whatnot. And then here, I didn't even know about this. We have some Cajuns cut. If any of you from Louisiana are watching and have tried this, I need to know. Is this good? All right, now moving on to this side, we have some, I mean, we're gonna see a bunch of bourbons today, bourbons and whiskeys. So right off the bat, the owner, Mr. Ten, told me about this bottle here. He said it's pretty much like drinking an old fashioned without all the sugars and whatnot. I personally never seen this Bardstown before. Um, it says that 110 proof and it's finished with infrared toast. Like they toast it with an infrared laser, I'm guessing, and a cherry, cherry oak barrel. All your Bardstown, obviously this one's gonna be hefty price tag, but he said it's worth it for sure. And then great prices on the rest of the Bardstown. All right, so next, barrel bourbon, of course. I've seen this batch at a couple of places and I've heard it's delicious, it's cash strength as well. 117 proof coming in at 89. And then again, I can't recommend, every time I see it, I'm gonna recommend the Green River Weeded. If y'all are looking for the Weller, if you're looking for a great Weeded, this stuff is, sits on the shelves everywhere, 32 bucks too. And you could find it, that's the thing about it, right? It's about the same price as most of the Wellers. However, the good thing is you can at least find it and sip on it. It's really, really good. And then also down here too, I've heard a couple of people talk about this, uh, Jimmy Red. I wanna say another guy that I watch, he recommended this bottle, or I think he found it for the first time and he was really pumped. I've personally never seen it. I know it's a sweeter bourbon, it's a sweet mash. Um, so let me know if you've had that, is it any good? And then boom, Heaven Hill Bottled and Bond is what I bought whenever I first got here to Louisiana, something that I could sip on for the next two weeks and I'm pretty much down to here now. It's really good. I did a review on that as well. If you haven't seen that, go ahead and check that out. But it's here, they have a good bit of it and I'm pretty sure they have more boxes in the back. And then the Still Austin Bottled and Bond, when we did our last video, um, someone commented and said that they have seen the Still Austin, but never the Bottled and Bond before. So I'm not sure if this is a newer rendition or what, but I thought that was pretty neat that uh, a couple of stores here have it and people haven't seen it. Cause I, I don't have this where I live in Colorado. So that's awesome. And then of course your new loose, we recommended this before. This is the one that we got to try. Um, this is a single barrel as well. So that's probably, this is gonna taste even different than the one that we tried at uh, Total Wine because yeah. each barrel is different. So if you, you said that you were looking for a um, new loose pick, so that would be great. huge wall of bourbon that I was talking about. So this is pretty neat. I know in Colorado people chase after Sazerac guys, but they have the big, the 175s of Sazerac. I've seen them everywhere here in Louisiana, but for 44 bucks, that's definitely the best price I've ever seen on the Sazerac big boy. They even have, this is Colorado Springs whiskey actually. So they have a couple of these and I got a hate comment. One guy came after me and said, anyone that likes this stuff loses credibility. But look, I told him, hey, there's some bottles that I do like, some that I don't. It has more of uh, the Barrel Vantage products. And this was one of the ones that the guy filming for me actually recommended that I try was the uh, Armida. Yeah. Yeah. Barrel Armida. I know that the Seagrass I've heard is probably one of their best ones. Um, let's see. It's a rye whiskey finishing a rum barrel. So if you like rum or anything, like, I'm sure that's probably going to be a sweeter product just because it's finishing rum. But they have it. That's pretty neat. Calumet, the small batch, the 10 year. The 10 year I find is harder to find than some of the 15 and 16. It's the last bottle here, but I see the 15 and 16 everywhere and it might be just because of the price tag, but for 80 bucks you can get their 10 year. I think that's a pretty good deal. I've never had it, so I'm not sure. And then up top you have some more. The double weed weeded 
And then they also have the special um, old elk that has the special topper on it. I think that's pretty cool. For 54 bucks, you can get that elk topper on it. So you can replace the regular quartz that they have. But even the regular quartz that they have at Old Elk are pretty awesome. They move on. Let's see. I don't want to miss that. <laughs> a huge <laughs> selection of old Forrester. I mean, almost every single lineup. And then all at a great price as well. I, the only one that I don't think I've had from them is the old Forrester Statesman. And I've been seeing a lot of people from Texas post the King Ranch has come out. I don't think I'll ever see the King Ranch, especially being in Colorado. But this Statesman? 95 proof old Forrester bourbon. Like, what, what's the difference between this and any of the regulars? I know proof point, obviously, but... Is this pretty good stuff? Let me know. Oh, we almost missed this too. The regular's still Austin. So they had the rye, but then they had the cash drink. And I'm not sure if this is their last bottle, but I, we picked up a bottle the other day, and I'm telling you, the still Austin cash drink is some of the best stuff that they have right now. Mictors, they have all the mictors. The only one that they don't have, I think, is the sour mash, but I've personally never, I've had all three of these except for the sour mash, and mictors is some of the best stuff. It comes in normally at a little lower proof, so if you're not like into proof, definitely try and make sure they make some awesome stuff. And right now, the only barrel pick that they have in is going to be the Maker's Mark um, Marcello's wine. So it comes in at 79 bucks, which is typical for a Maker's pick. However, they did tell me they're going to get the rare stash that we just showed in the beginning. That Dustin Poirier whiskey, they picked a rye barrel. Heard it's supposed to be phenomenal. They didn't have a sample for us to try, but um, they're going to be the only ones in the world to get it. So make sure you're keeping up with Marcello's um, and get down here whenever they release it because I bet that's going to be awesome. Oh, look, I didn't even see this when we were looking earlier. They have Buffalo sitting on the show. But right next to it, they have the Bondeds. So they had the Benchmark Bonded for $22, and then go right there to your right. They have the foolproof for $25, the small batch for $32, and the top floor for $32. I'm telling y'all right now, look at this. If you love Buffalo Trace, if you like a sweeter whiskey, if you like Stag, or if you've never had Stag and you're chasing it, this foolproof is literally the same exact mash bill. It's just a little bit younger, and it's $24, and they have plenty of it here. They have boxes of it, okay? Same thing with this bonded. The bonded is literally a, a bottle and bond. It's going to be 100 proof, at least four years old. So if you're looking at like an E.H. Taylor bonded for $22, again, it's the same mash bill. So come get it. If you like Nom 9, you got to come find these single barrels. It's 55 bucks. Not that much more expensive than regular Knob Creek. I think 12 to $14 more, but you're getting a single barrel of Knob Creek 9. I recommend it. you got to buy this. This too. This is the only store that I've seen besides a military base that has the Evan Williams 1783 American Hero Edition. So when I went to Kentucky in June, I talked to the guys over at Evan Williams and they told me that the American Hero Edition, there's really nothing different when it comes to the mash bill of regular 1783 in this bottle. However, these are aged where Heaven Hill is aged. So different Rick House. And I will say I did a blind comparison between regular 1783 and the American Hero. And this one definitely won. It's a little bit sweeter. I like it. It's really good. So only store that I've seen that has it is here at Marcellus. Come grab it. All right, guys. So we just got done filming at Marcellus Wine Market. I want to say shout out to Mr. Tim and Dustin Poirier for what y'all are doing with that store. Haven't even been owners yet for a year. And some of the stuff y'all have on the shelves is fantastic. And uh, it was great to meet you too, Mr. Tim. Thank you for coming out, showing us some of the behind the scenes stuff. Listen, guys, we tried a still Austin pick that they have. It's a castrine single barrel. That stuff, oh, man. it was the business, okay? It's coming out, I think, within the next few weeks, hopefully a month, so stay up to date with that. And also, we were told that they also picked a rare stash rye barrel. It's the first barrel of rare stash that's going to be a single barrel store pick, so make sure you definitely stay up to date with that because y'all are going to be the only ones in the world with that pick so super excited i'm uh, a little bummed that i'm not gonna have that bottle but thank you so much for watching y'all gotta go check out marcellus man i appreciate y'all see you in the next video